Hey guys, welcome to the Blue Couch Sessions. Today I'm sitting here with Kelly Partridge, intuitive artist. Thank you for being here with me today, Kelly. Thanks for having me. So tell me a little bit about yourself. Where are you from and what do you do? I am a Montana native, born and raised. I live in Laurel currently. I'm 43. I raised three kids on my own and now my family's all grown. My kids are adults and I found a love of art in 2013. I did not know I could paint until I tried. And what I do. I'm a full-time artist now, and I just absolutely love it. That's brilliant. Yeah. It's great when you can actually make your art your full-time, mm -hmm. and you can really dedicate yourself to it. So, what inspired you to start painting? Um, originally, it, I just kind of stumbled upon it. Um, mm -hmm. There was a ceramic shop here in town that's no longer open, but a couple of girlfriends and I went in to paint an ornament, and I walked out with the job of teaching the paint and sip style classes and I was terrified. Um, I couldn't believe that the lady wanted to hire me and she was like, oh, you've got a great personality, you're gonna be fine. I just was like, oh, what am I gonna do? <laughs> so I literally just went home and started painting and um, I wasn't popping out masterpieces right away, but it was more of the feeling that I got when I was painting that got me hooked. Um, it was just a piece that I had never felt before. Creating opened the door to healing for me. I am a sexual abuse survivor really have not dealt with that emotion at all until I found the painting. And with that piece, you know, while creating, I was able to just express all those emotions and really truly start my healing process. So and that, then I just took over the dining room table and started painting. And it wasn't long before people were, you know, can I buy that or would you paint this for me? And it just kind of evolved to where now it's my full time job. That is wonderful. Art can be so cathartic, mm -hmm. and it can bring so much healing to people. And so that's my favorite thing is when I hear that. And one of my questions that I have lined up is, you know, what trials and tribulations did you go through to get your art going, or what inspired, what difficulties inspired your artwork? You know, and you already answered that. For yeah. Me. You know, it's, yeah. It's because I know that art can be so cathartic and so good for the soul. It allows us to go somewhere else, um, and, and you know, when we're in our thinking mind, it just wasn't easy for me to be able to heal or to process those tough emotions. But when I'm creating, I'm just in a different space and can flow through. Yes. A bit, absolutely. So, do you have any creative influences? Any specific artists that you look up to or work from? You know, being self-taught and not really growing up, you know, I don't really know a lot of art history, um, so there, I wouldn't be able to say that there's a certain artist. I have fellow artists who I've met along the way that, you know, we all create in a different way. So I, I actually just ch like to challenge myself more than anything else. Um, I'm always trying something new. Um, and so that's where I really pull a lot of inspiration from is just growth, mm -hmm. internal growth with myself. Mm -hmm. So what's your preferred medium out of anything? Is it painting? Is it drawing? What's I prefer acrylic painting. That's mm -hmm. where my, my passion, that's where it's all started. And um, I love that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's my favorite. And that's what this guy is. is. Yes. I got to show this off. <laughs> I'm uh, going to buy this beautiful thing, this beautiful painting of Prince. It's acrylic paint on canvas. This is absolutely fabulous. She's done other portraits like this as well. I think she's got, this one is, uh, this one acrylic as well? This is acrylic. This is actually, so I call myself an intuitive artist because I use my intuition as a tool to create. It's just mm -hmm. as important to me as my paintbrush. This is actually a painting that my friend had a miscarriage and she said, will you please paint my daughter? And so this is channeled art. Um, I immediately could see in my mind's eye her little girl running just free in a field and just being carefree. I so, cry. I know. So, so, so this is an acrylic painting. This is 100% intuitive art. Um, whether it's somebody else's idea or my own, my intuition plays a huge role in what I do. That's beautiful. Yeah. This is a gorgeous piece. Thank you. Yeah. Do you have any preferred tools? Do you? Are you a, a paintbrush snob? Anything like that? Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. Um, I was a single mom, so I was really just 
whatever was cheap I would buy. Mm -hmm. um, I actually prefer to, to use cheap paint brushes because then I don't feel bad when I like want a new set. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I have way more brushes than I need, but I'm okay with it. That's good. Yeah. That was that's actually one of my questions too is, you know, are there, do you have any odd collections? Do you have anything you collect? So aside from a, a ton of paintbrushes. <laughs> a ton of paintbrushes, a ton of paint. Mm -hmm. um, that's just, you never have enough. Mm -hmm. Just collect, collect, collect. So yeah, that's probably, and lots of canvas. Like you never can run out. Because mm -hmm. gosh, you don't ever want to do that. So when they're on sale, I will buy. Do you have a specific space in your home that is like your studio? Or are you just like set up, dining room, do it where I got to do it? I used to, after my son moved out, I took over his room. And we used to call that the art room. And then I have uh, one daughter that's left at home and she likes to do beadwork. And so she likes to work together with me. Oh, and it, the room just became too small and we weren't utilizing the dining room. And so we took over the entire dining room is now just kind of like our little studio. To that's create. great. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> I mean, if you're not using the space, you don't exactly. use it for something. I would, I've got parts of my home where it's like you walk in and it's like, what is happening? <laughs> and it's like, art is happening. Yes, and yes. I would rather have art happening than nothing. So And nothing I love can it. be put away. I don't know if you knew that or not. Yeah, like no. you have to be able to see where you everything's at. You can't put a single no. thing away. No. In my living room right now, <laughs> I have uh, paint trays full of acrylic paint with saran wrap over them. Nice. And half done paintings just on the living room floor. Yes. And it's like, you can't put it away because then it goes away. Yeah. <laughs> You gotta wait. I feel you. Totally feel you. <laughs> Who do you look up to the most in your life? In life? Hmm. That's a tough one. So, a little family background. Um, my coming out about my abuse was not welcomed by my family. Mm -hmm. And, um, which is unfortunate. I didn't know at the time that that's actually kind of a normal for victims to come forward and for their family not to comfort them. Um, so it definitely isn't family. Um, they are living in a box and I don't like that box. I'm too big to fit in the box. So um, I think anybody, I, I don't, no one specific comes to mind. I would say anybody who attacks their demons and wants more for themselves, that's who I look up to. That's what I want to be. Just a constant version of shedding the old and recreating a new. I love that. I can absolutely agree with that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you have any projects coming up, any kind of art shows, or do you have anywhere that you display your artwork currently? I have had artwork in Craft Local in Billings um, since they opened and have had several sold silver pieces out of there. That's great. I also have um, paintings hanging up at the Tap Room 406. Mm -hmm. And um, the guest hotel in Ecolaca, Montana has a painting, a big painting in each of their rooms. Oh, that's great. Yeah, so that's kind of cool. And I'm always looking for new places to, to put art. All right. Um, I am creating um, a sigil deck, um, similar to like an oracle deck, where sigils are um, a representation of energy. Mm -hmm. Everything's energy. And I feel like you can channel that. I actually brought one just to show you. Oh, I would love that. Please show us. That's a sigil. It's kind of dark. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but we'll try. See, I'm not sure if we can see that. We'll do a close-up of that here in a little bit. So we're being programmed all the time, every day, by logos, just randomly. You think of, you know, the golden arches. You think of McDonald's kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So why not program ourselves to things that we actually want desire that are good for us? Positivity. So, yes. So that's what those are. They're based off intention. Um, it's just energy in a, an art form, a symbol form. So I'm doing a whole deck. That's what I'm working on right now. For people to pull something, an intention, and just let that kind of be their focus for that day or that week or whatever, whenever they want to pull cards. Absolutely. I love that. I would love to see that when it's finished. Okay. I'd love to share that with okay. my audience. I think everybody would love to see that. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you. Tell me about what you've got here. This, I just wanted to kind of give you a, a I do a wide variety of uh, creating. So this is just a pencil sketch that I do. Um, when I quit my full-time job, I knew that I was going to have to create in more ways than just one. And so I literally have just taught myself many avenues. So I sketch, I do watercolor, I do sigils, acrylic painting, I do henna, um, and just adding all the time. Mm -hmm. Just, I don't 
I don't necessarily want to focus on one thing. I just know creating is where it's at for me. And so it's constantly expanding yes. your, your yes. reach of creativity. I'm told that artists usually sketch first before they paint. And I didn't. I just started painting, and, <laughs> and I, now I sketch. <laughs> I'm the same. I'm not. I'm not anywhere near this level of brilliance when it comes oh. to artwork. But I just slather paint on canvas and go, yay, <laughs> yay! So, you know what? Yeah, Whatever sketches. you need to get it out, I think that's beautiful. <laughs> um, people get really caught up, and I do too, about the end result, wanting it to be something perfect. And art doesn't have to be. It's literally yeah. just the expression of just getting it out. Mm -hmm. Whatever it looks like is perfect. Did you ever take any art classes in high school or anything like that? I was in art in high school. I was probably the only class that I was like, this is my jam. Um, <laughs> um, but really didn't, you know, it wasn't encouraged. It wasn't something that I ever thought was possible for me. Mm -hmm. um, that's probably carry it with you at no, that point. No, not at all. We, we were crafty, but never, I had never painted on canvas until 2013. Well, I'm so glad that you did. Me too. Because... Your artwork is beautiful. I think I'm onto something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, your artwork is gorgeous. You, I mean, you're able to make your living off of that and yes. you can do what you love. Yes. And that's your livelihood. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't have to go to work 40 hours a week doing something you hate and then paint on the side. You found a way mm -hmm. to be able to do that full time and live your truth full time. Absolutely. And that's, I think that's the goal for every artist. I hope so. So I, I love being, I love seeing that and being able to talk with you about that. Good. I, I, Love your artwork. I love what you do. And so I'm so glad that in 2013 you started painting. too. I think a lot of people are happy that you Aww. started doing that. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> if you were a tree, what kind of tree would you be and why? Mm. One with deep roots. <laughs> um, the first thing that after you said that is a big willow tree where you're just kind of just expansive. You know, the, the leaves kind of hang down, maybe protective. It's funny, when I said that, I thought willow tree. Did you really? I did. <laughs> so yeah, well, we'll go with willow tree. <laughs> Intuition says willow tree, so that's, yep. that's what it is. You're a new addition to the crayon box. What mm. color are you? Neon clear. Neon clear. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Oh man, do I you want the color like mm -hmm. the, to name it? Yeah, to name myself. Mm. Any color? What color would you be? Why? I don't necessarily know why, but I'm kind of feeling like a turquoise, maybe blue like this. <laughs> <laughs> I can take it. All right. Describe the color yellow to someone who's blind. Oh my goodness. I'm putting you on the spot here. Yeah. <laughs> um, immediately, the warmth of the sun hitting your face, that to me is, would feel yellow. Just that, uh, the warmth on your face, just feeling that heat. Mm -hmm. That would be yellow. That's perfect. If you were suddenly transported to another planet, how would you assess the situation? Hmm. Is there food? <laughs> Like, that would be the first girl assessment. Needs to eat. Like, where is the food? <laughs> it's their food. Yeah. And then we'll talk about the situation. <laughs> I feel that. Are there art supplies? Like, <laughs> if I'm on another planet, I just need food and my fun stuff, and yes. I'll live here by myself. Absolutely. I don't need people. No, no way. <laughs> You've been given an elephant. You can't get rid of it. What do you do with it? Make it a pet. Oh my gosh, I would love it. In the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only place it would fit. I would welcome an elephant. That would be an excellent. I would love an elephant. I would too. I would want it to be happy, so I would have to like take it to the park and stuff so it can run. But... Yeah, I would do whatever I could to make that elephant's <laughs> life cush. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> you would be a good elephant parent. I would. <laughs> Very good elephant parent. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So we're just about done with our interview here. I did want to show this off real quick. Kelly brought this to me today to display on the wall here behind the couch. I got my very own little Kelly Partridge Intuitive Artist painting. I'm so excited. Here soon, I'm going to have this. I am determined. This is absolutely gorgeous and I'm in love with it. So please check out Kelly Partridge. Check out her art. Go see her. Go to Craft Local or any of the other places to check out her art in person. She's absolutely wonderful. Kelly, I've loved having you on my couch today. Thank, Thank you so much for being here. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time.